Only Cancer Sun, Libra Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. When you do this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, be sure to check out your 2022 Sun Moon predictions that are still in my playlist. playlist. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. Uh, the first portion of this video, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. Lay out the main cards. Take a quick look at your 2023. The the second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Cancer Sun Libra Moons, your deep insecurities can often have you appearing unfriendly and standoffish on the one hand, then overly eager to please on the other. If only people understood your varied emotional depths, it would be far easier to make personal and trusting connections. You love and are very protective of your family and your home. Your duty and obligations are, them, are to them first, and you are fiercely loyal and overly generous. However, if you only would take care of yourself as much as you take care of others. Remember, if you don't take care of yourself, how will you care for others? You can be found unwinding in a social atmosphere, whether at a high society party, participating in an art or book club, or catching up on the latest gossip. You need an emotionally supportive group of friends who, are totally, who totally get you, or you can become moody and unstable. Forever romantic, you're a fan of the eternal fairy tale. The problem with that is when things aren't ideal in a relationship. You immediately blame yourself for all its failings. Keep in mind, every connection has its peaks and valleys, and it's an equal contribution between a, two people in a relationship. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight? Or Cancer Sun, Libra Moons for the year 2023. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach our higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see for January, February, March? We have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, what do you see for April, May, June? April, May, June for Cancer Sun, Libra Moons. We have the Justice card in the upright. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. That is always appreciated. Um, Ace of Pentacles is in the upright for July, August, September. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. So the Page of Pentacles are reverse. Uh, starting off with that, I feel as though you are, um, somebody is in your perimeter who is a little bit snobby, a little bit haughty, feels a little bit entitled to kind of what you have. Um, it's not an outright crime. It's just somebody, somebody who feeling, you know, who is taking from you, um, and, but they feel perfectly all right doing it, um. I often think of the Page of Pentacles. I've heard this. I've heard this before, like this analogy. But it's kind of like, you know, you're you're in your uh, you're hanging out in your place, and then somebody comes in and they just you know make a sandwich for themselves out of your refrigerator and start eating it, and you're just kind of like, well, you know, that's okay. I have a lot of food, but you know, you're acting like you know you didn't even ask. So I feel like that's somebody who's affecting you in the beginning of the year. Um, believe it or not, I, I think it. I don't think it's that mild. I think it's greater than that, and I think it's affecting you to the point where it might be a legal matter. And the reason why I'm thinking that, or why I'm feeling that, is because uh, we have the card of Libra Justice, the Justice cards for for April, May, June, and this kind of shows it might act, it might go to the court system okay so somebody might have tried to pull something over on you or take advantage of you and you said look i've, I've had enough of this I'm not gonna be taken advantage of anymore um let me just you know draw up some legal documents take it to court let the court decide what's going to happen here um if you do go ahead and do that it's actually going to come out in your favor um so and it's interesting because then in july august september i see you being awarded a sum of money or getting back what was taken from you so you know it, it's a shame you have to go through that but i do see that things kind of get made right uh, because things do go in your favor so you get re recompensed for um whatever might have been taken and then uh in october november december i see you kind of um using that you might be using that sum of money or you might just be moving forward um on projects improving yourself um 
I think, it, I think it's more of a practical sense. I almost feel like you're taking this money and you're rolling it over into projects or some kind of improvement uh, for your home, for your family, investments of some sort. And I think it's something that requires a lot of patience. Um, for some reason, I'm really kind of drawn to how this guy has his hammer and he's sitting on this workbench and he's kind of hammering away. I, I'm getting improvements of some sort and that's why I keep on getting home improvements or maybe fixing things that need to be needed to be fixed up. I feel like you're almost using that money to kind of do that. So it's a really specific reading that really goes from one thing to the next. It's not kind of, um, sometimes it's a little more choppier, but this was very clear cut from the beginning of the year up until the end. Um, so that's what I I have for you right now for whoever this is for. Uh, if it resonates, of course, consider a personal pre-recorder or a live reading. Email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. But make sure you click on the video link below where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2023. Also, check out your 2022 Sun Moon reading. See if they rang true for you or for somebody you know. Um, and look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. It's always appreciated. Otherwise, Cancer Sun, Libra Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.